Boker Tov and Chodesh Tov. Uh, welcome. As people are coming on, we'll be, I'll be muting you so that we can focus on who is speaking at any given time and hopefully you'll be able to see each other. Linda, um, you're frozen. Can you hear us? I don't know if she can. Yeah, she's moving. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm just going to get started because it's 12.01. Okay. We're so we're starting with the bracha that <clears throat> we begin the song days because during uh, Rosh Chodesh and other times during the Jewish year, we recite the Psalms of praise. And uh, here's the bracha, the blessing for now. And this melody is from my beloved teacher and mentor, Cantor Salzin. And we continue with pay, uh, with Psalm 113. Oh, wait, before I continue, I'm going to share this uh, commentary about Hallel. And this is from Kol the Reconstructionist Sidor, and this is the daily uh, Sidor, and you could order it online, I believe. More than any other series of Jewish prayers, chanting the Hallel Psalms marks the cycles of the Jewish year. We sing Hallel at each new moon when the Jewish month begins and on each day of the three pilgrimage festivals, just as the singing of Hallel reminds us of the inevitable return of joyous times, so does its theme of one delivered from the ropes of death or released from my distress. Remind, remind us even when we are in the midst of pain, sorrow and despair, that joyous moments will surely return. And from Psalm 113, Hallelujah, cry, cry praise, all of you who serve the omnipresent, praise the name of the eternal. Let the name of the incomparable be blessed henceforth and for eternity. From, west, from east to west, sun to sunset, hailed in every place the name of God. Raised up above all nations is the sovereign one. Of even the heavens is God's glory. Who is like the boundless one, our God, enthroned on high? Who gazes down on all in heaven and on earth? Who raises from the dust the poor from ash heaps, lifts aloft the needy, placing them beside the privileged, together with the privileged of the nation, turning the childless household into a home, rejoicing in its children. Hallelujah. The Hoshi Niki Mi Meafar Dal Meashpot Yarim Mevion. 
ਦਹ ਸ਼ਿਵੀ ਹੀ ਇਨ ਦੀਵਿਨ ਇਨ ਦੀਵੇ ਆਮੋ ਸ਼ੀਆ ਕਰੇ ਤਬਾਈ ਆ ਕਰੇ ਤਬਾਈ ਐਮ ਹਬਨੀਮ ਸਮਖਾ ਹਾਲੇਲੂਯਾ Leaving it all up to you, Reb Deb. I open with Sheila Peltz Weinberg's Rosh Chodesh prayer. Dear God, God of our mothers and fathers, renew us this month and this year. Direct us toward goodness and blessing, toward the joyful, toward liberation and challenge, as well as toward patience and consolation, toward becoming ever more human beings. let us become capable of supporting ourselves our families and friends let us serve our community in dignity direct us toward life and peace toward observing our blindness toward struggling with our goals toward forgiving ourselves and each other you brought us near with an intention a kavana you gave us the awareness of the cycles of the moon may we use this gift that you have given us as an opportunity to understand what you intend for us to thank you for inviting us to share your kedusha your holiness and this holy moment of the new moon beit yisrael mi mi tzayim beit yakov Me'am lo'hez, ha'ta, ha'ta Yehuda le'kotsho, Yisrael ma'am shalotav, ha'yam rabayanos, ha'yaden yisob le'achor, he'harim rakaduch e'evim, kirvahot kibneton, malach ha'yam, kitanus hayaden tisov leachor eharim tikaduchelim kevahot kibneton milipne adon kuli yaret milite eloha yakov hahokiatu agamayim khalamish le mayno mayim Israel went forth out of Egypt house of Jacob from the people of a foreign tongue Judah became God's holy place Israel became of rule the sea beheld and fled the Jordan turned reversed its flow the mountains danced about lambs the hills like flocks of lambs What's wrong with you O sea that you should flee and you O Jordan that you turn around you mountains why do you rejoice like rams you hills like flocks of lambs tremble earth for the mighty one before the god of Jacob who turns the rock into a pool of water the flint into a bubbling fount we continue uh with psalm 117 from the psalms of hallel rejoicing in god's help in god's deliverance hallelujah adonai kol kol goyim shabahu hu Shabbu hu kol ha'gundim ki aleinu aleinu 
Chuchat Do Vemet Adonai Le'olam Hallelujah And Psalm 118. Oh, well, I want to say what the English translation is of 117. So we're all kind of on the same page and understand. Praise the omnipresent, all you nations, all peoples. Sing the praise of God, for God's love overpowers us. The truth of the eternal is forever. Hallelujah. And this from 118. I'll do the English first. Give thanks to the eternal who is good, whose love is everlasting. Let Israelites declare today God's love is everlasting. Let the house of Aaron say, God's love is everlasting. Let those in awe of God declare, God's love is everlasting. Hodu la donai ki ki hi to ki hi le golam ki le olam chasto yomana 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 Yisrael ki hi hi le olam ki le olam chasto yomruna 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 bet aharon ki hi hi le golam ki le olam chasto Yom runa, yom runa, yom runa yir e Adonai, ki hi le olam, ki le olam chasto. And I'll turn the microphone over to Rev Deb. Ah, okay. So I was going to do a little bit of a teaching about this month um, in Jewish mysticism in the Kabbalah. The month, each month has, each month of the <clears throat> zodiac has a different symbol, a different significance in terms of a lot of different things. And for Nissan, I'd like to talk uh, first about the month and then talk about the symbol, the ram uh, for Aries, and talk a little bit about some of the other attributes for the month. Very, very interesting because the symbol of Nissan is the, the ram, Aries. And that is interesting to know. But before that, I wanted to tell you that Nissan is considered one of the two new years of the year. Um, Judaism has four new years that we uh, consider. And the one of them in the fall, uh, the Tishrei new year, is the time of judgment. And that is the high holy days that we're used to. And the, how, the month of Nissan is the beginning A spring, a time of renewal, a time of redemption, all uh, wonderful things to think we think about the calendar year. And this month, the month of Nisan, is attributed to the zodiac animal, the ram. And um, the ram is an interesting animal, the ram or the sheep. Uh, both of them are considered to be an association for this month. Um, because the lamb, the ram itself, was that considered to be a god for the Egyptians, a very powerful god. And so by telling the people an operation to roast a lamb and eat was a very intentional thing by God to the people. And ingesting the lamb, we've rendered the Egyptian, the most powerful god of the Egyptians, impotent, powerless. By eating this animal, we have really destroyed the power of the god of Ares, the ram. I thought that was very interesting because it symbolized Ares, the ram, the idolatry and the power. And there are more commandments in Judaism surrounding sacrificing a lamb or a ram than any other animal that we have. Um, it's the most important offering brought to the temple during the temple period when sacrifices were made at the temple, and that really highlights its importance. And knowing that the Egyptians worshipped the ram, I think it's understandable how that tradition carried itself through. And we know on the most powerful um, day of the 
of the month, the, the Rosh Chodesh, the new moon, you know, um, God instructed the Jews to do, to leave Egypt, and in order to show the imp impotence of idolatry, to ingest, roast, you know, cut up, slaughter, roast, and cut up, and share the object of the Egyptians idolatry. I thought that was pretty fascinating as I studied that. And we know that sheep as well as rams are a very prominent feature in the Torah. And it's considered to be one of the more favorable or most favorable uh, symbols in our faith, you know, of all the animals or different symbols that Judaism um, has. So um, I, I will turn it back to you and share more when it's my turn to share again. Um, Um, I'm going to just keep us moving along through the recitation of some of the Psalms. And this is a continuation uh, from Psalm 118. And this melody is by Joey Weisenberg. And it is unlike what one would hear in many congregations where it's an uplifting, happy kind of little march melody that is often used. But if you listen to what's being said, Joey's melody makes so much sense. From my distress, I cried out, Yah, Yah answered, bringing great release, Yah being another name for Hashem. The one is with me. I shall have no fear. What can a human being do to me? The one is with me, bringing help. I gaze triumphantly upon my foes. To trust in the evil is good and surer than a trust in human power. To trust in the invincible is good and surer than a trust in human benefactor. All nations have surrounded me, but with God's name, I cut them off. They surrounded me. Yes, they surrounded me. But with God's name, I cut them off. They surrounded me like swarming bees, like a brush fire. They were quenched. And with God's name, I cut them off. You pushed me down, pushed me to fall. But the Redeemer has brought help to me. My strength, my song is Yah who was for me a source of help. It continues, but for now, uh, the opening part, from my distress I cried out, Yah, Yah answered, bringing great release. This is the melody I wanted to share. Me hametza karatiya Anani Vamechavia Lailai 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 And later, down at the bottom of what I had read, my song is Yah, who was for me a source of help. Uh, here's one of the melodies that uh, is often shared. And, um, and now I just, her name just flew out of my head. Deb, you'll know. Oh, who's he? Is in Radia by a he Yeshua Shephagol. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, who's he? Is in Radia by a he Yeshua. 
and Deb is going, I'm going to uh, turn it over to Deb to uh, um, start having people be able to share. It's a very exciting month, Nissan, because it's also associated with the quality of speech. And what do we do during this month? But we are commanded to share the story of the Exodus with the next generation and to perpetuate that story. So the, you know, the month of Nissan Kabbalistically is, um, is connected to the power of speech and how we can elevate ourselves through the, um, the quality of speech. And the Passover night is the fullest of nights to do that because we tell the story and the mitzvah of that night and that um, holiday is to share the story of the going out of Egypt, to talk about our relationship with God, to talk about God's involvement in our world. And we should, when we have a Seder, speak as long as we can about that, speak about the Jews, speak about God. And so the power of speech is such an important quality for, uh, the, for this month, for the time, the mouth and speech. And that is important to keep in mind. Also, each month is associated with an element. And this month is associated with the element of fire. And, you know, there are the different elements. And this one is very important because fire connotes energy. Fire connotes cleaning. We clean before Pesach. We go through to clean out the chametz, and we go with a feather and a candle to cast a flame to find it with the light of the fire, and then to be able to destroy it, you know, to burn it up and get rid of it. So fire, you know, water is powerful, and we always talk about the power of water, but we can't see the sparkle of the water without the, the light, you know, from, the, from, you know, the quality of light from fire to illuminate it. So from sunlight, you know, that power that um, shines on the water. Also, um, or each, each month Kabbalistically is associated with a number or a, a letter, a Hebrew letter. And the month, this month is He, the letter He, um, which is very interesting and significant and elevating because God's name is Yud He, Vav He. It appears twice in the holiest name um, for God. And so it represents the number five. It represents the name of God. It represents the five levels of the soul. The soul is said to have five levels. The nefesh, the ruach, the neshama, the chaya, and the yechida. So in Kabbalah, um, that is what, what we are taught. And also that it represents redemption, this letter. And this, uh, the fifth cup of Elijah which is the harbinger of redemption brought to the people. And finally, each month is associated with a tribe. And this month is associated with the tribe of Yehuda, which again is interesting because the letter H is attributed also in, in the spelling of Yehuda. And we know that the, our forefather and foremother, Avram and Sarah, their names changed and they acquired an H, Avraham, and Sarah from Sarai, and, you know, and Avraham from Avram, because they acquired the quality, the attribute of God's holiness, that letter He in their name. So I'd like to just conclude my piece of teaching with a, another prayer that I thought was very meaningful about Rosh Chodesh. And this was written, it's a Rosh Chodesh poem by Rabbi Patty Haskell. And it says this, the moon withers to nothing in the night sky as prayers for this new month blossom with petals of hope. Every 29 or 30 days a new start, freshly laundered days on which to place our marks, tiptoeing, running, stepping forward. Songs of Hallel praise to the month maker lead us on our first step forward into the open spaces ahead. Subtle changes we anticipate as we unfold moment into week, unwrapping the gift of new self to rewrap 30 days hence. Walk with me now, step into the unknown, sing with joy and wonder, bless the path ahead.
Shikoach. And Deb, you were going to uh, ask questions about blessing and adding to the light, I think, to give people an opportunity to share. Do you want to frame those questions and then I'll unmute whoever raises their hand. <laughs> So I had what, two. You wanna, yeah, you're going to frame the question, right? Okay. Yeah, I had two questions. One is, in what way can you bring light to this month, this new month, and in what way can you bring blessing to this new month, for each of us to think about and perhaps offer a thought or an answer. Anybody? You're okay. You're oh, unmuted. Me. Okay. So, based on what Deb said, um, I think what occurred to me that I don't think would have occurred to me without what she said and what she asked was I think many of us are very, very, very disappointed that we won't be spending a Seder with community whether it's family or grandchildren or friends or whatever. And um, I know for myself, yes, we'll have a little Seder, we'll just abbreviate it, blah, blah, blah. But perhaps what we really should do is bring light by having, by really putting effort and energy and fire into the Seder. So I think I'm going to try to, um, uh, uplift it more than I think I would have. And Lois, Lois, yeah. you want, I see you that you professionally raised your hand through the Zoom channel. That's pretty uh, impressive, Lois. My son set it up. <laughs> he came over because I am not very good at this. So share your, uh, how are you going to bring Blessing and light. I don't know. Probably, I'm. Where my son set up so we can all be together and and talk. We'll probably do some type of seder together. Um, we we we're all able to get together last night and sing Jenny, my granddaughter, happy birthday. So we saw my daughter in Arizona. So we're trying to plan something we can all do a seder together, but not being in each other's houses. So I want to ask Deb, how about you share? And then I'll take a turn if that's okay. Okay, sorry. I think for me, the best way I can bring light and blessing into this month and into this difficult time is just to continue to serve my community as best I can, the multiple communities that I serve, and to really make sure I bring light unto myself and, and replenish myself so that I can continue to do that, which is a very big challenge, um, but one that I would like to do. Um, in terms of a Seder or Passover, I don't know that I'll have one uh, this year. Um, but at least I will be reading the Haggadah that night and thinking about that. And if anyone's having a virtual Seder and you want to invite me to your Seder, I'll be happy to come. But the way I would bring the light and blessing is to, to serve others. Thank you. So I appreciate your asking the questions because um, I wouldn't have taken the time to stop and ask myself those questions. And of course, every day I'm asking, how can I serve? Um, this is different and much to what you just shared, Deb. What I'm learning with professional guidance and uh, in prayer and in uh, meditation is how important it is to take care of oneself. And I wanna almost you know, be like sexist about it and say, especially women to 
carve time for prayer, carve time for quiet, carve time for meditation, carve time for taking a walk, uh, I mean, some kind of exercise, um, which is important for physical but also emotional health. And then outside of that, to make time for family, whether it's on FaceTime or Zoom, even if they're not physically with you, um, it's important to have time for family. And for those of us who are lucky enough to be working, um, to really be there for those you are working with or for, but at the same time, to be careful not to run oneself into the ground because then you won't be there for them. And more and more, you know, we're hearing that this can last for quite some time. So we must adapt. We must pace ourselves and take very, very good care of our immune systems, but not just our physical immune systems, our spiritual, emotional immune systems as well. And, um, and I am, my, my best way to do that now that I've been thinking about it since you posed that question, those questions, is I'm more of a person who like thinks of something and acts on it. And I will be exercising self-discipline to slow down to stop, to not do all of the things that come to my head as good ideas, and to zoom back in order to be able to be with more, and, uh, and make time for being with Hashem, like in a really intent a way of, with intention. So I'm, I'm so glad to be with you today and to have an opportunity to see, you know, each other and to share our thoughts and our concerns. Uh, I, I don't know about Seder either. And I love what you said about um, this would be a good time to really make it special, to bring light to it. Um, and right now, I don't know that I have the energy to do that. But I will. And I don't have to worry yet that I don't have it now. But I appreciate your sharing that as something that you're focusing on doing. Um, and I hope that I will be able to get to that point as well. Um, I want to share a closing song unless somebody else wants to share something. I want to give people time to do that. Lois, did you still want to speak or know your... I'm lowering your hand. <laughs> um, so this is Olav uh, Chesed Yibaneh. Rabbi Menachem Creditor wrote the melody for this. Um, the Hebrew is Olav Chesed Yibaneh, Olav Chesed Yibaneh, Olav Chesed Yibaneh. And the English you'll hear is, uh, I will build this world from love. And then he kind of riffs on that. And you must build this world from love. Um, and then there's a lot of lie, 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 lie. And I think we'll be able to sing it together, even though we won't be singing together. I won't hear you. Hopefully you'll hear me. But you could still sing. I don't usually do this sitting down, so good luck to everybody. You can hear? You can hear? Okay. Oh, love has said he La, 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 la. Oh, love has said he La, 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 la. Say, 
Hesseli Bande La 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 I will build this world from love La 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 And if we build this world from love, la 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 Thank you, Lois. Thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you Red Deb. Yep, thank you, Red Deb. It was wonderful. Yes, I agree. So great to see you guys and to hear your voices today. Be well. Please take care of yourselves and rest when you can. Stay hydrated and keep washing those beautiful hands. Me too. <laughs> Chodesh, Chodesh Tov. Odish Tov. Thank you. Thank Odish you, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.